I started my modeling career when I was in college. My first job is a fashion show. Then gradually, I built my portfolio as a model for runway, photo shoot, video shoot, and many more. Modeling is a pet hobby for me while I'm finishing my study as a journalist. I'm not a very feminine girl. I like to do sport, especially extreme sports. I try many extreme sports like surfing, climbing, and scuba diving. In 2018, I get my first license as an open water scuba diving. After I get my license, somehow I had a chance to represent Indonesia in Miss Cuba International. Even though I didn't win it, I enjoy my time in that moment. Meeting new people, making new friends, doing things that I love. It was the best experience that I ever had in my life. Since then, many good things coming to me. In 2019, I get an opportunity to go to Europe for an exhibition. I was there to representing as Indonesian people because the product that we sell is originally from Indonesia. I love traveling a lot, doing all my outdoor activities, bouncing from one to another until the COVID-19 pandemic hit us badly. At the beginning of COVID-19 pandemic, I have no idea how to deal with it. Suddenly, I was advised to not go out, wear masks if I need to go out, stop all the other activities, focus on work from home, wash my hand, did social distancing, and so on. I was surrounded by all the negative feeling of stress and anxiety and it got worse when I lost my job in the entertainment industry. People choose to focus on how to stay healthy, on how to keep food on their table, not on how to entertain people. I was really stressed because I am an outdoor girl. I need to spend my time outside the house. I need to meet people socializing. And now, I have limited access. I have to stay at home and do all my activities remotely. But thank God, things have gotten better. And finally, I can release my stress and anxiety by doing the things I love the most, traveling. I don't mind solo traveling. But if I can bring a friend, that will be awesome. How about I ask my bestie, Indira? I met Indira last year while we joined the same modeling competition. We both met the top 16 and we live in the same house with the rest of the girls. She was my roommate and that's why we became so close. I like her cheerful personality, and I think she will be my best traveling buddy. Hi! Hi, Indira! How are you? Oh my god, it's been a long time ago! Yeah, where are you? I'm in Jakarta, where are you? I'm in Singapore. No way! I really want to go to vacation with you. Uh, I have I have work and it's, I'm in quarantine Come for on. a week, so I can't go anywhere. Aww, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. Okay, if you come back, just let me know and then you can join me. By the way, have you any idea for me to go somewhere? <laughs> so where do you want to go? I don't know, I like the nature, I like to go to the traditional place. Seoul, wait, I've never been back to Seoul. I've been to Jogja, nice. Mm -hmm. and I have Mm -hmm. Also, there's one is um, Banyumas, I think. I've never been. Banyumas? I don't go. Maybe you can go. 
Brand new mask. Okay, okay. Let me let me searching it. Okay. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful here. Okay. Oh, is it nice? Oh, it's so beautiful here. Oh, nice. Thank you, Indira. Busy go. All right, bye. See you later. Yes. I always have a peaceful mind in nature. Walk on the beach, diving, camping, stargazing. Maybe I can focus my itinerary on nature travel. Stress can be reduced when you are doing a fun activities. For me, planning my short getaway is fun. Also learning new things. Hello. Hello, Mr. Gu. Ya. Apa kabar? Baik. Gimana dulu kabarnya? Baik, baik, Mas. Lagi sibuk nggak, Mas? Nggak, slow ini. Aku... Di Jogja itu kan... Waktu seperti berhenti. Oh, bisa gitu ya? <laughs> Keren. Ya, gimana gimana? Ada yang bisa aku bantu? Iya mas, uh, aku kebetulan dapat libur nih. Aku mau ke Jawa Tengah dan Yogyakarta. Enaknya? Kamu berangkat dari mana? Mau berangkat dari Jakarta mas. Kalau saranku, dirimu lebih baik uh, menyusuri sisi utara dulu. Lalu nanti singgahlah kamu ke daerah di kawasan kayak Banjarnegara, terus kemudian nanti bisa mampir ke Dieng, terus kemudian kamu bisa bablas lagi masuk tol Solo itu, lalu bisa ke Tawangmangu, baru setelah dari timur, nah yang wajib kamu samperin adalah Jogja. Oke. Okay. Gitu, biar kamu tahu rasanya bagaimana jarum jam ber. Wuh, oke, okay. gitu. jarum jam berhenti. Oke, gitu. oke, okay, okay. menarik banget nih mas. Wah, aku makin semangat mau jalan-jalannya. Mas, kira-kira aku mau berangkatnya enaknya jam berapa ya mas? Kalau saranku, kamu harus menikmati suasana pagi tuh di apa namanya di uh, pedesaan. Jadi kalau saranku kamu berangkat di, dari sana itu malam lah. Jadi pagi itu kamu bisa benar-benar menikmati kabut tuh. daerah Dieng oke okay. itu akan kamu akan merasakan tadi itu uh, terhempas dari ruang waktumu di ibu kota gitu. wah seru banget nih mas aku lagi sambil searching-searching Dieng dan emang jalur utara ini mas yang mas bilang seru banget nggak <gak> sabar mau jalan-jalan kamu berberapa aku sendirian. sendiri mas karena temanku nggak bisa ikut ya Tidak yang cukup, karena di tol itu kan nanti kamu karena jalannya lurus, enak gitu. Biasanya terlena untuk nginjak gas terus gitu. Iya benar. Nah, kamu harus hati-hati. Uh, aku mau tanya, kalau misalnya di daerah Jawa ini, aku harus berpakaian seperti apa ya? Dan harus berperilaku seperti apa? Kalau di Jateng dan di IE itu kan masyarakatnya sangat permisif ya. Mereka masyarakat yang sangat terbuka. Ya, dengan apa namanya dengan orang luar gitu. jadi tidak harus berpakaian seperti apa seperti apa enggak yang penting kalau menurutku di mana bumi dipijak ya di situ langit harus dijunjung artinya jika kamu berpapasan dengan orang di kampung ya udah kamu sapa aja gitu. mereka bisa kok bahasa Indonesia walaupun kadang-kadang kalau kita ketemu orang-orang yang sepuh mereka memang tidak lancar bahasa Indonesia tapi mereka ngerti Dan hmm. mereka akan sangat happy, sangat senang ketika kamu sapa. Oke, okay, oke, okay, oke, okay, Mas Teguh. Seru banget nih, Mas Teguh. Oh iya, Mas Teguh, Mas Teguh. Iya, yeah, iya, yeah, apa-apa. Uh, Dengar-dengar katanya Mas Teguh baru buka warung ya? Yoi. <laughs> kamu harus mampir.
hampir kamu harus mencicipi masakannya budiku nama warungnya Bale Merapi Bale Merapi oke okay. masaknya selema jadi nanti kalau misalnya rute kau udah nyampe ke Jogja nih aku Uh, kabarin Mas Teguh lagi, Mas Teguh kirim ya, lokasi ya. Kabarin dan kalau kamu ada apa-apa di jalan, pokoknya ngabari aja ya. Siap Biar laksanakan. Teleponin teman-temanku. Siap, ya. siap. Makasih banyak ya Mas Teguh, ini aku udah cukup banyak informasinya. Ya, yang hati-hati loh ya. Iya iya Mas, iya Mas. <laughs> Sampai ketemu ya Mas Teguh. I love learning new things, so my life wouldn't be so boring. It also can expand my knowledge and experience, because learning is a lifelong process. I'm done with my mapping all my destination. Hopefully, it can expand along the way. Being a woman in a solar road trip is not easy. I need to prepare my car. improve my basic skill on how to handle a car and how to regular checkups. Hopefully nothing bad happen on the road. Anything is possible when you have the right people to support you. Some of our friends become our chosen families offering support is not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. I'm blessed to have Indira and Master Guru in my life. I think my car is good to go now. And now, it's packing time. Okay, information is enough. It's time to prepare my stuff and everything. What should I bring? Okay, and then I need to take a rest a lot. All right, let's do it. As I want to spend most of the time in the nature, I need to prepare my diving mouse and climbing shoes in case I need it. Also my coat, since mountain temperature must be low. Swimwear here. Jacket here. Hmm. Yes, I think it's enough. When you go for vacation, for traveling around, make sure that you only bring uh, the necessary things, like uh, the shirt. Where you go, it's maybe it's cold, maybe it's hot. So you need to make sure you just bring the necessary things. Like me, one luggage it's one luggage it's uh, fine because um, I will go around one week or more and I get everything. I get I bring my sleepwear, my jacket, my jeans, my tent, my sleeping bag and I bring my climbing shoes too. In case I need it, I think I will need it. I yes, I have a feeling that I will need it, and I also bring my goggles, goggles, because vacation is always swimming. Sometimes, maybe somewhere, that's what I was imagine it. Swimming, climbing, tent. Yep, I get everything. I cannot wait to spend my time in nature. I already packed my camping gear, tent, sleeping bag, table and camping chair, flashlight and portable cooking. Hmm, 
I think I'm good to go now. I can't live without Google Maps. With the application in my hands, I feel very confident to go anywhere around the world. Surprisingly, wearing makeup is good for your mental health because it feels good and somehow it makes you more confident. Even though if it's just a simple makeup like covering your panda eyes with concealer, on a deeper note, it's not about counseling yourself but it's more about deciding which part of you that you want to show to the world. I am so happy. I'm super happy and excited. Finally, I can go for vacation. But unfortunately, I need to go by myself alone, but it's okay. I'm still excited to go to for vacation. Let's get this journey starting. Insert a destination and Central Java, here I come! why I do this vacation well I wish I can be recharging after seeing the nature the ocean the mountain yes I can't wait oh my god see it's super hectic I'll to take her off oh no I'm stuck now in the middle come on people give me some space Really? It's confusing. Ah, <sighs> big city. <sighs> wow. I'm super respect with people living in here. It's like every day I have traffic, need to go out in the early morning. I appreciate to myself too, of course. Well, now I really need to focus on the road, take care of my baby. So, stay tuned. Um, yep, I will show you how beautiful after this, the nature and the people there. Bye! <laughs> It's time for me to do this healing trip. Refreshing from all the stress that I've been having during pandemic time. A solo trip is fine with me, as long as I can meet new people along the way. A hundred of kilometers of road will be my companion, and few cities in central Java will be my destination. I am taking it slow. I just need to be cautious all the time, keeping my speed below 100 km per hour on a toll road. Thinking about my upcoming journey, I can't wait to learn about the culture, enjoying the beautiful scenery, tasting local foods, and most of all, I can be myself during this trip. Hopefully, after this trip, I can come back with a fresher mind and newer thinking, with improved skill, 
and mindset on how to be more productive at work and life generally. See you in the next city!